Ayeko came in as a county secretary. Vihiga County government, we were in problems of leadership and management. We didn't have a system of governance. We didn't have laws and policies that could govern the county. But for the period Ezekiel has been with us since 2020, June 4th, we have witnessed tremendous progress in our governance system. And I'm happy to say that uh, as of now, we are among the few counties that have put in place very significant governance systems that will make our county move forward. So I want to thank him, though he's gone, I want to thank him for the work he has done for the people of Vihiga. But God was also gracious to me because the day on 5th November, the day he eventually died, it was a special day for me and him because I had been away and that previous weekend he had also been awarded an award as being among the five best performing county secretaries in the country. So that day, he had come in to bring the award that he had been awarded in Nairobi. And for some reason, we spent a lot of time, and I'm happy we did, because I was able to discuss and thank him. Because we have presented ourselves to them, we want to be good. Let also them have a clean, a clear ideas of what we are doing and be able to see where we have gone wrong and come and advise us. And that's why probably you may be hearing there are quite a number of ESCC people coming to Vihiga. We have said, let them come as many times as possible because that's part of the deterrent so that people can know that they will not do it. So we want to say what he has put in place, it will continue. I'm very cautious. And because I've worked with him I have learned many qualities that if I'm going to look for a replacement, I'm going to be very thorough, extremely thorough. But even if I do that, I do not believe whoever I will get can do what this gentleman has done. So uh, the people of Vihiga, that the government is intact, we will move on. Where Ayeko has left us, we will move on. I want to assure the people of Vihiga that Ayeko has put in place a governance system that if it is strengthened, we will have a county that will move forward without any problem. And any other leaders who will come later, they will find it very difficult to change the system. Because we have agreed that corruption in our county is our enemy number one. And we have said we will fight corruption to the last person. And that's why myself and Ezekiel, we agreed to invite ESCC to have an agreement with them, an MOU with them, 
so that they can guide us and enable us to ensure that we deal with corruption decisively. And it's for that reason we have formed committees. All my officers who are here, they will tell you, we have a committee of anti-corruption in every department. And they meet every month to review any corruption issues that may have arisen during the, year, during the month. And we have a general person. And as Professor Ayiro said, there are no words. And as a governor, I really feel aggrieved because I've lost somebody who is my pillar in my governance system. Since he left us, I've been thinking and wondering how I'll move forward without his being around. Because a lot has been said about Ayeko. And I want to confirm all what we have said about Ayeko is true. And I feel privileged and thankful to God that God gave me a chance to work with this man who is lying here. I want to thank the Senate. You have stood with us. And my friend Onyonga, thank you. I invited you to come, and you have come. And Onyonga is one of the few senators who have stood with the counties. And he speaks the truth. Anytime we have gone to the assembly, Onyonga with Ezekiel, they are always talking. And that's why I can t when I told him we asked to come, he has come. So Senate, please save devolution. It is only Senate who are going to save devolution. And devolution, if we lose devolution in this country, we will go back where we were. And as of now, devolution is under threat. That I can tell you as a governor. Because what we are going through as governors, you will not wish to become a governor. Particularly like me who has worked in many good places. It's tough. You have staff. You cannot pay salary. You, even your water is disconnected. And then Kenya Power, they don't care. They will disconnect even the referral hospital. They will connect, disconnect power. So devolution is under threat. And we as Kenyans, we must stand for it. Because after all, the constitution we have today is all about devolution. So if devolution dies, the constitution also dies. So with those many remarks,